guys, welcome to Yoga with Esther. Um, this is for all of us stuck in the house. Um, a lot of us are quarantining ourselves. Quarantining? Quarantine. We're into quarantine. As a lot of you guys know, I make up my own words during class sometimes. Anyway, this is, a, of course, a stress, stress reduction class. So let's start just in any comfortable seated position. And we are going to begin with breath work. So as you guys know, if you can't keep up with my counting, it doesn't matter. I just want you to sip in air and then extend your exhales. So take a deep breath. And as you exhale, I want you to relax your shoulders. Exhale through your mouth. We're gonna breathe in for three, out for four. Inhale. Two, three, and exhale for one, two, three, four. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale. Two, three, and exhale for one, two, three, four, two more times. Inhale. And exhale for one, two, three, four, one more time. Inhale. And exhale for one, two, three, four, good job. Take a deep inhale, bring your shoulders up by your ears, and exhale, slowly roll them down your back like your shoulder blades want to touch. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And let's just bring a little bit of lubrication to the shoulders. Make any kind of organic movement you want. You're probably by yourself. You've probably gone a little crazy. I've been listening to a lot of podcasts about random stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the most random, I don't know. Okay, so we hold a lot of our stress in our jaw, in our neck, in our shoulders, in our hips, basically everywhere. So we're going to start by taking a deep inhale, relaxing those shoulders, and on your exhale, bring your chin to your chest. Now I want you to feel that nice stretch that you're going to be able to feel probably right here, back of your neck. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, relax your shoulders even more. Keep your spine nice and straight, tummy tucked in. One more deep breath, filling your belly up with air. And as you exhale, gently rock your head from side to side. For three, two, And I'm gonna keep moving around because my hips are killing me. So bring your right hand to the mat. Inhale, left hand up. Stretch, reach, look at me. Neck nice and long. Inhale, exhale down. And that's for three. Inhale up, two. And one. And release. Interlace your fingers on top of your head. Take a deep breath and press that interlock towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, arch your spine, pressing your chin to your chest and your hands towards me. Gently release. Bring your left hand to the mat, slight bend in your elbow. Inhale for three. Exhale, two. Neck nice and long, and 
one. And release. Okay. So now we're going to come to a modified child's pose. I like this because it helps open up the chest, open up the heart. It also stretches your arms. So it depends on where you want to go with this. Sometimes I like to use a block. So get in child's pose, you can use a block. Or you can just interlace your fingers and rest them behind your neck. And breathe. For three deep, deep, deep breaths. Two. And one. Stretch those hands out in front of you, really, really making your fingers nice and wide. Take a deep breath here. Bring your forehead to your mat. Hands come to your side, lift yourself up. Now I want you to bring your fingers together, palms facing towards the ceiling. Now you can tuck your toes if you want and press some weight on your toes if you want a nice foot stretch. If not, don't do it. And just rock from side to side. Nice little bend in your elbows. Look down at your mat. Belly tight, no strain. Walk your hands out in front of you. Fold your mat over in half if you have sensitive knees. Always come to fists or forearms. We're going to do cat-cow. Spread your fingertips really wide. Check your body out, knees under hips. Take a deep inhale as you open your chest for our cow pose. Exhale, spine goes towards the ceiling, chin comes to chest. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale and exhale. And this is where I just like to roll my hips around a little bit, kind of get in touch with my body here. So we're going to make our way directly to downward dog. Tuck your toes, raise your hips. Now I want your chest to be pressed towards the back wall. Bend your knees as much as you need to. Triceps go towards the back wall. Neck is relaxed. Take a deep breath and walk your feet in between your hands. And we're going to come to a really gentle forward fold. So stay forward folded. And I like to use a block here. Just really nice and gentle. You can shake your head out. You can bend your knees. I always want a slight bend in your knees. Grab a hold of your hips, stay where you are. Press through the sides and the heels of your feet as you lift yourself up to ignite the back of your legs. Good job, you guys. Breathing exercise number two. Ooh, yep. So to stabilize yourself, I want you to place your feet about hip distance apart. Step one foot back. Uh, hips tucked under, abdominals nice and flexed. Prayer position comes out. Exhale everything out of your mouth as you <sighs> inhale. Open your chest, point your fingers to the back wall. Exhale. <sighs> For four. Inhale, point those fingers. <sighs> Three. Inhale and exhale. Two. Last one. And just grab a hold of your fingers. Stretch towards the ceiling. Inhale. 
exhale, stretch towards the right side, inhale, exhale, stretch towards the other side, that's enough of standing, let's sit down the remainder of the series. So as I said, we hold a lot of stress in our hips, we're going to come to butterfly pose, you can use blocks underneath your knees, take a deep breath. Really open your chest and exhale, chin comes to chest. And we're gonna be here for five breaths. Take a deep breath and send that breath to your thighs. And exhale, just visualize coming down a little deeper. Now I'd like to remind everyone, I know I'm talking, if it hurts, don't do it. Three more breaths. Two. And one. Come all the way up. Okay, let's lay down on our backs. So we're going to come into modified bridge pose. Now, if you are advanced, and want to do, I don't know, full wheel, you go ahead and do that. I'm too old for that. If you want to do it without blocks, um, I would say if you've been practicing for a couple years and you really know your alignment, I will allow you to do it. Bring your heels as close as you can to your glutes. Lift your glutes up, interlock your hands underneath and press your hips up to the ceiling. Now that hurts my back because I'm getting old. I, I would recommend using two blocks. Do the same thing, press those blocks underneath your hips. And this is a nice position to just take some stress off your lower back, to stretch. Let's take a few more breaths here. Really, really filling that belly up with air. Inhale. For three. Two. And one. And while our blocks are here, we might as well do a waterfall pose. Five breaths here. Bring your hands to a low V. And your legs do not have to be straight. You can bend them. Do whatever feels good. Take about five breaths here. Relax your toes. Feel the blood rushing, or not rushing, just trickling down. Three more breaths. Gently bring one toe and then the other to your mat. Press through your heels, remove your blocks. And we are going to grab a block. And if you don't have a block, pillow, bolster, whatever, I don't care. Place it in between your shoulder blades. This is just a chest opening exercise. Bring your other block underneath your head. Set yourself up so you're not uncomfortable. And hands come to a low V, really opening up that chest. Five breaths here. Your knees can be bent or they can be straight out in front of you. You can even cross a leg if you want. Whatever feels good. Five breaths here. Really focusing on, of course, breathing into your belly, but expanding your chest at the same time. So, almost like a wave. Three more breaths. You 
use one of your hands to lift up your head, remove your block. Roll over to your right side. Removing the other block and just stay on your right side of your body. You can close your eyes if you feel comfortable closing your eyes. Take some deep breaths here. Relax your jaw. Relax your toes. And relax your forehead. Take another deep inhale. Exhale through your mouth and gently press yourself up to seated. We're gonna do our final three breaths together. Sitting up nice and straight, deepest breaths of the whole day. Inhale your hands above your head, look at your fingertips. Exhale them to heart center. Inhale. And exhale. Deepest breath the whole day. Inhale everything in. And exhale, hands to heart center. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, I miss you guys. I miss teaching you guys. Um, if you have any questions, a lot of you guys have my number. You can email me, you can leave me a comment. If you have any requests, let me know. I'm going to be making a lot more videos. They're going to be quick. They might not be as professional, but I want you to stay moving. Um, that's the most important part. So I will see you next time.